Hey, I haven't done in a video in a little while. I've been so busy. Uh, so much new. Look, we got an arc droid. Uh, this is a CNC uh, plasma cutter. And then uh, this is uh, um, a little stylus pen. And you can just trace out a cardboard template, enter it into this box, and then plasma cut it out just dead perfect and then make as many as you want and it's totally portable I plan on running it off of this new welder I picked up this is a uh, thermal arc uh, yeah 270 ACDC beautiful little welder brand new Honda engine on it it's on a nice rolling cart makes it easy to roll around so that's pretty awesome and uh, then it goes in this uh, in this old Ford that's out here with the service truck. It's so nice to be able to go get material like a professional and just throw it on the rack, strap it down, drive away, and not look like a hillbilly retard. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So lots of oh, this uh, this is what I'm working on today. Um, this mount here was just booger welded into place, and it blew out. And so I've ground it up and cleaned it. Uh, over on this side, I don't know if the light's going to be good enough to see those. Come on, bugger. Well, anyways, the welds inside there are really, really, really awful. This way? No. It's not going to let me see. But anyways, take my word for it. The welds aren't nice. So I got to build that new bracket. That one failed. So we're going to fix that. I really got to get that done because I want to play with this arc droid. I just got this and I haven't got to play with it yet. Man, I'm just stoked on it. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, isn't that beautiful? The build quality looks so nice on it. Like this case doesn't feel cheap. The dial doesn't feel cheap. There isn't a single part of this really that feels like it's junky. So, props to Arcdroid for just killing it. This thing is pretty damn cool. Like, so cool. I was playing with it a bit last night at the house uh, before I got it to the shop here. And it's, it's really user friendly. Like, I've never taken a CAD lesson in my life and uh, I was able to trace out a cardboard drawing and make it run its program. So that's pretty cool. Um, this guy, he's going in the truck. That's that's where it belongs. I just got it out right now. I wanted to uh, just check it, make sure that I got a good deal when I bought it. I just got this thing, and uh, man, I, I seem to have got a really good deal. The old guy that I got it from, he just kept throwing it on stuff. So I got like... Uh, three lengths of this lead i got all that uh, gas hose i got these extra bottles that's why they're standing here unsecured they just just basically got here and uh and then and then uh a wire feeder yeah the old guy just kept throwing stuff on and throwing stuff on and oh you're gonna need this and you're gonna need that and oh you're gonna want this and oh well damn it of course i do yes sir so, uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. He threw in lots of stuff. Oh, we finished up the dump truck. Dump truck's got a liner in it now. You know, let's peek in here. Hey, she's all UHMW line now. Floors, walls, back gate. Oh, she went in good. It's a lot of work to do that. It was actually quite a bit of work, but I'm stoked. Okay, so I should quit messing around with the old camera. Uh, this one here is just an easy fab. I'm just basically going to... Uh, I'm basically just going to rebuild this little guy. It'll just take me a few minutes. They tried to save it. They pounded a big piece of solid bar in there. And then just did the... Oh, here. You can see it better here. Go, get over there. And then just this tiny little bugger weld that had zero penetration. 
So everything that was holding this rear end was just this heavy bar that was inside of it. Funny repair. Okay, I'm going to uh, fix this.